हेलो एवरी वन मैं नीम इज मेरी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मीनिंग टाइप्स कोजेज एंड वी विल ऑल्सो सी डिटेक्शन ऑफ मल्टी कॉलिनियरिटी सो वट डू यू मीन बाई मल्टी कॉलिनियरिटी मल्टी कॉलिनियरिटी इज द सिचुएशन वी आर टू और मोर इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स आर हाईली को रिलेटेड विद ईच अदर मल्टी कॉलिनियरिटी इज द सिचुएशन वेयर टू और मोर इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स आर हाईली को रिलेटेड विद ईच अदर बट हाई को रिलेशन बिटवीन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल मेक डिफिकल्ट टू आइसोलेट इंडिविजुअल इफेक्ट ऑफ ईच इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर वाई इज अवर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल विच इज बॉडी मास इंडेक्स X1 and X2 are independent variable. X1 is weight. X2 is height. As we know. body mass index depend on weight and height that's why body mass index is dependent variable and x1 and x2 are independent variable as we know weight and height are highly correlated with each other that's why it is very difficult to know individual effect of weight as well as height for example how can you know only effect of weight on body mass index similar how can you know only effect of height on body mass index it is very difficult to know because weight and height are highly correlated with each other obviously it will create problem of multi collinearity because multi collinearity means when two or more independent variable are highly correlated with each other now we are going to talk about types of multi collinearity first is perfect multi collinearity when two or more independent variable have exact and linear relationship that means two or more independent variable are perfectly and exactly correlated one variable will change consistent and proportionally in response to change in other variable here y is dependent variable which is standard of living of labor x1 and x2 are independent variable x1 is total pay x2 is hourly wages these are independent variable because labor standard of living depend on total pay and hourly wages but these two independent variable have linear relationship obviously total pay will increase consistent and proportionally in response to increase increase in hourly wages so you can say that these two independent variable have a linear relationship that's why it will be called perfect multi collinearity now we will see imperfect multi collinearity when two or more independent variable are highly correlated but not perfectly and exactly correlated imperfect multi collinearity means when two or more independent variable are highly correlated but not perfectly and exactly correlated student marks dependent variable x1 and x2 are independent variable x1 hour or spend on study x2 number of hours spend on reviewing notes no doubt these two independent variable are highly correlated with each other but not perfectly and exactly correlated it can possible some study time is not used for review and some review is not a formal study now we we'll see causes of multi collinearity problem in specification of model sometimes specification of model is wrong because it include or exclude wrong variable obviously it will create multi collinearity redundant variable redundant variable create multi collinearity by providing overlapping information insufficient data sometimes sample size is very small range of value of a variable is limited even sometime observed relationship between variable seems more correlated than they actually have obviously all these will create a problem of multi collinearity incorrect use of dummy variable can create multi collinearity we have already discussed about dummy variable this is formula for keeping dummy variable k minus 1 k is a category if number of categories are of 5 then we should keep four dummy variable but sometime we keep dummy variable for all categories it will lead to multi collinearity poor model design over determined model with so many explanatory variable can lead to multi collinearity multi collinearity problem is common in time series data because time series data shows a similar trend which lead to high correlation among independent variable 
now we'll see detection of multicollinearity means how we can detect multicollinearity first is uh, high r square and low t test ratio we have already discussed about r square and t test high r square means independent variable collectively explain large portion of variation independent variable if independent variable collectively explain that means independent variable are highly correlated with each other obviously will create multicollinearity and low t test ratio is not statistically significant because it shows a high correlation among independent variable pair wise correlation coefficient can also detect multicollinearity because it explain strong linear relationship between pair of independent variable auxiliary regression can also detect multicollinearity through high r squared and significant f ratio as we know value of r squared lies between 0 and 1 high r squared value means r squared value is closer to 1 and high r squared value in auxiliary regression model shows one independent variable is well explained by another independent variable that means uh, independent variable are highly correlated eventually lead to multicollinearity and a significant f ratio in auxiliary regression model indicate group of other independent variable collectively have significant relationship with original independent variable that means variable are highly correlated and lead to multicollinearity frisch confluence analysis frisch confluence analysis also help to understand presence severity and patterns of multicollinearity among independent variable by examining a bunch of maps bunch of maps are graphical representation which help to understand how independent variable are related to each other variance inflation factor can also identify multicollinearity this is formula to calculate vif 1 over 1 minus r square the value of vif is equal to 1 that means there is no multicollinearity if value of vif is greater than 1 but less than 5 that means moderate multicollinearity which is acceptable if value of vif is greater than 5 that means high multicollinearity and require attention if vif is uh, more than 10 that means uh, severe and uh, problematic multicollinearity condition index can also detect multicollinearity by analyzing relationship between independent variable through their uh, eigen value condition index can also detect multicollinearity by analyzing relationship among independent variable through their eigen value this is formula to calculate condition index lambda maximum represent largest eigen value of matrix of independent variable and lambda minimum represent smallest eigen eigen value of matrix of independent variable so this is all about multicollinearity i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care